okay so so it is due to this that it is decreasing fine now it has been seen that it does not depend on what you have put in rather it depends on the amount of that substance that you have put in okay so you put maybe a mole of glucose or a mole of urea the impact will be the same fine so the decrease in vapor pressure the decrease in vapor pressure depends on the number of the solute particles number of the solute particles and and does not depend on the nature of solute particles so what do we mean to say does one mole of glucose and one of and one mole of urea depress the vapor pressure by the same amount we get the point because it's non volatile it does not depend huh it's non volatile so any kind of solute will uh, reduce the vapor pressure by the same amount hmm Now Raoult's law in general form is what? Raoult's law in its general form says what? That the partial pressure of each component is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that component in the in the in the solution state. Correct. This is what Raoult's law is. <coughs> for any any solution the partial vapor pressure of each volat volatile component in the solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction in the solution this this we have already done for each for each volatile component the partial pressure of each volatile component is directly proportional to proportional to the partial pressure of each volatile component is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that component in the in the solution state this is what we have already done now suddenly what happens something comes that is non volatile so though it is not contributing anything to try to, now now we try to understand it mathematically so what happens though the second component the 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 volatile component is not contributing anything to the 
to the partial pressure above it what is happening how is it depressing the total pressure by reducing the mole fraction of the volatile component you understand because if you add add anything more to it what happens now there are two things so the denominator there was n1 there is n2 so the denominator becomes heavier while the numerator remains the same so the mole fraction actually goes down so that's why the pressure goes down that's all fine that is all yeah so 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 that is why okay so so uh, we have a binary solution and let us denote the solvent by 1 and solute by by 2 so in the binary solution let us denote solvent solvent by 1 and solute by 2 in the binary solution let us denote the solvent by 1 and solute by 2 and let the solute be non volatile let the solute be non volatile so it stops contributing anything to the to the total pressure so it contributes nothing to the pressure The only contribution to the pressure to the pressure is by the solvent molecules. Is by the solvent molecules. Okay, it is only by the solvent molecules. So obviously, the pressure P is directly proportional to the mole fraction of of the. So I have taken that. So P one, the partial pressure is directly proportional to the X one, and as I had discussed this x1 has gone down and when this thing vanishes obviously we know what comes in as the constant of proportionality